back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to go through the Guitar Tricks versus Fender Play comparison, and I'm going to use the article that we've already published kind of as an outline, uh, and it's pretty simple. just has tables set up here, and I'm going to compare the two programs, uh, Guitar Tricks being the long-standing uh, option and Fender Play, sort of the new kid on the block. And if you've looked at any of my reviews, if you've looked at any of the videos I've done in the past about Fender Play, you know that I am not a huge fan of this program. Um, Guitar Tricks is kind of the go-to, so a lot of people want to compare the two, um, kind of the old guard versus uh, the new option. So if you do want something with more detail, if you want to look at screenshots and clips, from each website, we have a Guitar Tricks review and Fender Play review, which I'm going to link to in the video description, so you can check that out. There are also free trial links to Guitar Tricks uh, that um, help out our channel. We don't do that with Fender Play because, um, uh, frankly, we don't recommend it, so we don't put an affiliate link down there. I mean, if you want to go and you want to check it out, it's Fender.com slash play. Uh, that's how you can get to it, and, you know, that's, that's fine if you want to do that, but we're not going to link to that because uh, we just don't recommend it. So... For the comparison, uh, obviously, right off the bat, you know, we, we have a rating system that we use, and I understand that could be kind of subjective and whatever, but uh, Guitar Tricks tends to do really well, while Fender Play, you know, does pretty poorly. We just have um, several categories that are weighted, uh, and, and the way that, you know, I worked up these ratings uh, is something that I think makes a lot of sense, and that gets at least, at least a loosely accurate picture of the kind of quality you're going to get out of each program. Um, so we have those, but what I want to do is just kind of go through the direct comparison. And so we have that set up in a few different tables. The first one is just kind of a side-by-side -side, um, look at uh, FAQ type questions, like how many members, um, free trial stuff, and total number of lessons. So uh, we'll just go through these. So members as of 2018, and I think this is still pretty accurate. Guitar Tricks is around 3 million. Um, Fender Play does not publish that information. I, I would imagine I would imagine Fender Play's membership is decently high. I, I doubt it's in the millions, um, but they do have a lot of marketing power behind their brand. So they could be doing fairly well, at least in terms of membership. The free trial period, uh, Guitar Tricks is pretty well known for offering a 14-day free trial. Uh, that's what they've been doing for a long time. Uh, and like I said, that is in the description if you want to check that out. Fender Play, I think, offers a 30-day free trial. Um, and I'm not sure... I'm, I'm not sure if that's still what they do. I know they did at one point when they were trying to uh, sort of market the program a little bit more heavily and you may need a credit card you do need a credit card for guitar tricks uh, to put on file if you're comfortable with that um, great if not you know it's no big deal uh, and I don't know about Fender Play I don't know if they require a credit card or not my guess is that they do I can't remember when when I signed up for it to do my initial review and then signed up again um, to do the update I, I think I think I was able to get in there without a credit card but um, the, anyway, it's 30 days versus 14 days. Total number of lessons, guitar tricks, is it, was at 11,000 as of last year. I think I think they've pr probably get a little bit closer to 12,000, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, Fender Play, I, my guess, is around 200. They don't have a ton of content, and they've been adding to that. Um, so maybe it's closer to, you know, they may have doubled that, or maybe get a little closer to 500. Uh, but the, again, that's not something that they make super readily available. Like, they don't they don't really brag about it, you know, because they haven't been around very long and they don't have a ton of lessons. So when you look at something like Guitar Tricks, it just kind of vastly outpaces uh, Fender Play in that area. Um, that's probably why they're not really publishing that type of information. Styles and genres covered. Um, Guitar Tricks kind of has 12 different genres they focus on. Fender Play, they're sort of limited in that regard. They have five different styles, and then they also they also sort of kind of kind of kind of divvy out their resources among other instruments. So you're going to be able to do bass and ukulele on Fender Play, which is not something I'm really crazy about, but they do it, so you know it is what it is. Uh, instructors on Guitar Tricks, they have a bunch. Uh, these days there are maybe typically four or five that are really super active uh, on their platform, um, but all told they have uh, over 20 uh, different instructors that have contributed in some capacity. Um, Fender Play, I think uh, last we checked, covers around eight. Um, they don't have a ton, and it's not necessarily better to have more instructors. Uh, it just kind of depends on depends on the site and how they use different people and stuff like that. Uh, for the price standpoint, uh, Guitar Tricks twenty dollars a month. Um, 
uh, Fender Play is about 10 bucks a month, and this is without any kind of promotional offer. Both programs do have promotions, and uh, Fender Play actually dropped their price. Uh, it was $20 a month, and when it first came out, I think back in 2017, and they've since dropped it to 10. A lot of people just said that was too expensive because you know the program wasn't as good as other programs, uh, and and they kind of did the same thing here for their yearly price, which is about uh, which is half of the guitar tricks yearly price. So let's keep going down the uh, skill level, uh, depth, and how challenging uh, each program is, and we kept, we broke that up into three different skill levels, and then also threw in topical order and just gave letter grades. So in beginner lessons, guitar tricks is uh, is pretty solid. Um, they're one of the best in terms of just getting uh, beginner content. Uh, and kind of getting started. Fender Play sort of uh, targets the beginner, uh, so they do okay in that regard, um, but there are uh, kind of other inadequacies that bring that number down or bring that letter grade down. Uh, intermediate lessons, Guitar Tricks is a little bit weaker, but still pretty good, uh, and this is sort of where Fender Play starts to struggle. They just don't have a ton of content that I think is is, is at all valuable outside of, of being a complete beginner, um, so they're pretty low there. At advanced lessons, Guitar Tricks comes down a little bit more, um, which is, uh, but but that's not to say they you know they still do do pretty decent in that in that regard. There's sort of something for everybody on that site. Um, and Fender Play, unfortunately, is just kind of abysmal when it comes to advanced content. There's nothing. I don't want to say there's nothing advanced on the site, but it just is not. It's not something that they handle very well. It's not something that they really pursue. And the entire site was built on the on on the idea of serving beginners. Uh, that Fender Play has sort of said, like, hey, we're trying to get people to not quit playing guitar. Uh, it's just kind of beginner centric, so they don't have a ton of advanced stuff. For topical order, that's kind of the way they organize their courses. That's how effective their material is organized. Um, guitar Tricks is one of the best in, in, in that area. Um, everything is just really, uh, all the learning paths are really linear. You can just kind of follow straight through. Uh, all of the content is very nicely packaged together in terms of kind of developing on itself so its skill level as it advances it, that what you learned before is helpful to what you're going to learn in the future for any given course it's all it all kind of just uh, is cohesive uh, and kind of gels to get together really well fender play um, that is really not the case at all that's one of the problems with that program one of the reasons i don't like it is that to get through a course in a linear fashion you're you're not you're going to skip a lot of stuff uh, that I that 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 I think you wouldn't want to skip. You're gonna kind of have a, a hodgepodge of, of song lessons thrown in there because they're trying to get people playing songs, kind of trying to get people doing more fun stuff. And I get that; that's valid. But um, they end up sort of skipping a lot, uh, and their their topical order and their organization ends up being pretty bad. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much all there is to that category. So site structure, design, and user experience. These are just sort of basic. Um, you know, a lot of this could apply to any website. Um, they both have a nice home page. We give matching grades there. User dashboard, uh, again, pretty similar. Uh, we, Guitar Tricks one looks a little bit nicer. Course navigation, um, kind of in, in keeping with the, the order and organization grade. Um, Guitar Tricks is pretty good in this uh, in this area, and Fender Play uh, drops down a little bit. Uh, interior course navigation is kind of inside, like when you're in the video player and you have uh, elements that you can go from one video to another. Uh, again, Guitar Tricks is pretty good. Fender Play is just just, you know, not not bad, but not particularly memorable. Um, the main menu aesthetics uh, and, and kind of their modern look uh, is all pretty good uh, for both programs. Fender Play is a little sleeker, uh, although Guitar Tricks has made some updates in, in the last year or two that are, you know, really brought um, its web development standards up to, you know, kind of a 2020 level. So we keep going. Uh, that's um, we're going to get into, let's see, video video player quality. So whenever you're on a guitar lesson website, the video player is kind of what you're going to look at the most. You're going to be staring at that more than anything else. Um, so we'll just look at some of the functionality and, and kind of some of the uh, the features of each one. Slow down and speed up. Uh, guitar Tricks has that. Uh, Fender Play does not. Um, HD options. Uh, most most of the videos in Guitar Tricks have at least 720p. Um, so the more recent ones are filmed in 1080p and 4K. Um, uh, Fender Play has mostly I think everything in 1080p and a lot of it's probably in 4k now because it is such a new website like I said this is all all their stuff came out in 2017 so everything is going to be in 1080p everything is going to be really high definition uh, and guitar tricks since they have a lot of older content a lot more videos a lot more lessons 
uh, some of it's not going to be quite as nice as what Fender Play was able to put out there. Um, they have section looping for each video. Uh, that's in Guitar Tricks, not in Fender Play. Uh, full screen uh, quality and pixelation, just kind of how good does it look when you when you when you use the full screen method. Uh, we thought Fender Play looked a little bit better there. Um, back end is the server that they use to host the videos. So like when you put a video on YouTube, uh, YouTube is your host, right? Um, so Guitar Tricks uh, has a Wistia backend, which is kind of a premium video hosting platform. It's really good, it's really fast, it's sleek. Uh, and with Fender Play, um, we really don't know where their videos are hosted. I'm guessing they have their own sort of video host in-house. Um, not sure exactly what it is, or uh, but you know it's fine. Uh, it, it's not. We don't have any issues with um, speed or with uh, video quality, anything like that. Uh, neither one really integrates any kind of social features. We see that on some sites, but it's not really a thing for Guitar Tricks or Fender Play. So let's keep going down to supplemental material. That's just kind of anything extra that these programs add on in addition to the videos. So like. Uh, you know, some of the examples, tabs and notation, tabs and notation, chord diagrams, um, audio, some have guitar profiles, uh, some have uh, elements of interacting with your instructor. Uh, guitar Tricks is pretty, pretty universally better than this. On Fender Play, one of the problems with it is that you just kind of get you just kind of get the videos and really not much else uh, with Guitar Tricks. And to be honest, Guitar Tricks isn't particularly good at supplemental content. Um, they don't have a ton, but but they have a lot more than Fender Play. So tabs and notation, chord diagrams, you'll get some of that. Um, the tabs are always really good in Guitar Tricks. Uh, audio files, you get that sometimes. Um, instructor interaction, they do have a forum where you can interact with your instructors and talk to them a little bit. It's not a big part of Guitar Tricks, but they do a little bit of a better job with that than Fender Play. Um, Guitar profiles that neither program offers. Jamplay is kind of the go-to for that. They typically do a lot of guitar profiles, uh, and they also use Sound Slice backend. If you don't know what Sound Slice is, I uh, def definitely recommend looking at that up. It's a really cool, um, it's a really cool way to follow guitar tabs. Uh, kind of a, a cool feature there. Uh, but that's a Jamplay thing, um, not in Guitar Tricks or Fender Play. Uh, guitar Tricks has a printing option, which uh, kind of bubbles up into a new window if you click the print button. Uh, Fender Play does not have that. So I think the last category here is the song lesson section. Uh, and, and both programs emphasize this. Uh, Fender Play kind of tries to make this their thing. Um, but but this, is just a good, this is a category that Guitar Tricks has owned uh, and has just done a really good job with for a long time. So they, um, the, the guys that uh, run Guitar Tricks have gone through a ton of rigmarole in terms of getting, uh, I don't know if that's still a word, that's a weird word to use for this, but I guess you could call it rigmarole. Sure, they've gone through a ton of work to get the licensing necessary to post songs on their website legally. Um, Fender Play, I think, has done that too, uh, but they just don't have as much content. They don't do as good of a job. So what what they'll do is that they'll teach, you know, maybe like a version of a song that's sort of simplified. Um, Guitar Tricks will more often give you the entire song. They'll go through the solo. They'll go through like every little nuance aspect of the song, uh, and they just have a lot more. Like they're over a thousand uh, and counting. They add new songs all the time. Fender Play, I think, was around 150 last we checked. So it's not going to be not going to have as much to pick from. Even though Fender Play has sort of stated that songs is a part of what they want to do so they'll put they'll put a song like into in the middle of of a series of lessons about chords uh, and then it'll kind of give you an opportunity to apply what you've learned and i think that has some merit like that's not a bad method um but uh, but i really like how guitar tricks has kind of separated it out and made it just completely its own entity it doesn't integrate you know they don't use song lessons to like beef up their courses. Their courses have a ton of content on their own. And if you want to take a break, go and play some songs, you can do that really easily. Um, they do a good job of covering them. Uh, the navigation is good. And the instructors are excellent. Um, and they do have some easy song versions, which are handy, um, which is a little bit different than what I mean by the stripped down versions that you get with Fender Play, kind of not the same. So, uh, you know, in conclusion, I'll go back to my rating table. Um, you know, pretty, pretty clearly, like I think, you know, Guitar Tricks just by, by by the reality that they've been around for so long and that they have been sort of the pioneers of, of online guitar lessons, they're just a much better program. Um, Fender Play feels a little bit forced. Uh, you know, it feels like they really just rushed this through and that they did not, they really didn't do a lot. They, they, they kind of did a little 
with a lot of content, you know, like they have a ton of videos and they have, um, you know, this great platform, this great kind of marketing name. I mean, it's Fender, like everybody knows that name is in a guitar. So, um, but they just do a really poor job of ordering things and getting you like a good uh, kind of uh, kind of value for what you pay, even at $10 a month. So uh, the comparison, uh, Guitar Tricks is a pretty easy win for me. And like I said, I'm going to put links to um, our reviews of both programs, a free trial link for Guitar Tricks in the description so you can check that out. That helps support uh, the channel, helps support guitartalk.com. And uh, if you get a chance, hit the subscribe and the like button, and that helps us out a lot too. So if you have questions, leave them in the comment section, and we'll catch you later.